tooth pump. They jump in the yam. I think today we're going to go boating. Captain Revy and the yam of All right. <laughs> so, two dolphins swimming. So today is uh, Daf Membez, uh, Babakama. So we had a Pusik yesterday. We've been discussing this Pusik. Oh, I didn't know. No, no, no. Uh, 730. Um, so the Pusik says, the Chiyigach Shor, I'm just reading for the Pusik before we get into the Gemara. So the Gemara says, the Chiyigach Shor es Isho, es Isho of a mace. So call you Sagal Shor. Go ahead and stone the animal. Right, you, you kill the animal. Velo yechal b'sari can't eat the uh, can't eat the the meat. Bal hashor naki. So we're trying to figure out what this means. Bal hashor naki. Right, the owner of a scream. We don't shot the as that uh, you know he, he's clean from payment. So now we're going to see another time. So tani ida. So we have another brice. So we got a little. Uh, uh, this is the fifth line, right? Fifth line, uh, first word, right? So Tan Idah Baal Hashor Naki Rabbi Yaisi Agli Aimer Naki Mid the Mave Lodos. It means like this. The animal goes at if a person goes at and let's say he you know, punches a woman, right? And he 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 so and he kill a pregnant woman, excuse me. And uh, he's attending that is he's trying to kill somebody else, and then he ends up hitting a woman, and then uh, it turns out that the, the fetus dies. So he pays the value the Mave Lodos, all right. Ooh. So now we're going to learn that the owner of an animal who, whose animal gored, right, a woman who was pregnant and killed the fetus, he's part of from paying the fetus, right? In the case of Tom. So he says, mm-hmm. When men are fighting and one of them has a state of pregnant woman, so we learn over there, it says over there, when a, when two people are fighting, then they pay for the fetus. But Masha, people, thank you, not animals. So I already know that animals don't pay for the Deme Vlados. Right? Deme Vlados is the value of the fetus, right? So they don't pay the Deme Vlados. So I already know that. So yeah, I don't need this pasuk. So therefore, uh, Rabbi Kiva says to uh, Rabbi Yasek, clearly it's unnecessary. So the Gemara points out, okay, yeah, not, not a bad point, Rabbi Kiva. Shabbat shalom, Rabbi Kiva. Some Rabbi Ula. Bereid Rabbi. The Eitzchik. No, no, no. We still need the limud of Baal Shor Naki to be uh, Naki from uh, Tamei Vlados. Why? So good. I mean, you might think that Hashem Lo Sharem had Dami La Nashim. Maybe we're saying that when it says men pay for Tamei Vlados, there are, people are, there are people who are fighting, not animals. Are animals similar to people? How so? So just like the the the, uh, the people of person of Adam is Muad, so So it sounds like only maybe over there we're excluding an animal that's similar to a human. It was only humans are chayiv, but not an animal who is a muad. So an animal is not a uh, so animal who is a not a muad. So an animal who is a muad is potter hatam mechayiv. But if it was a time, it was a first time offense, the animal would be chayim. Right? I might think that's because so, Rahman, the Torah writes, Balashar Naki, the potter, that the time is potter. The time is potter. In other words, teaching the time is potter. I only know that a muad is potter. Maybe I would have thought the time is chayim, the mashal on the pasuk, because the, uh, the, only the, the shor muad was learned from Anashim. So the Gemara so Gemar says, so I'm going to Understand the uh, right, the people are, are, are you know the, the citizens are, are down here in the land and the, and the gerim are up in the sky. Now, as he's saying, which is opposite, right? So he's saying your logic is opposite. You're telling me the lo- according to your logic, you were saying that oh a muad you'd be potter from the vlados, but the havamina was at a tam you'd be high for the vlados. Well, how does that make sense? Does it make sense? So Ella, my rabbi eats it. No, no, no. I'm like this. So good, Isaac. I mean, on Nashim lo shorim hadum lo Nashim. Maybe you'd say only people go ahead and pay for the dmei vlados, but not animals similar to people. And how so similar to people? Ma Nashim muadim afshar muadim. Right? Just like uh, people are muad. So to any animal that's muad, and since an animal that's muad is potter from dmei vlados, but kavuchaymer in the tamim the patri, and therefore there should be a certainly. If, if a muad is positive from paying to pay for others, certainly a tam should be. 
So therefore, Hadar Kasar Achmana Bal Sharnaki. Therefore, it says Bal Sharnaki to say, no, no, no. One of the one of the owners of animals is Potter, and that would be the Tam is, is Potter Umuad Chai. But according to this, then indeed that if it was a Sharmuad and it killed a pregnant woman, it would pay for its mevadas. So I'm a Elamiata Gabi Boshes. Well, if that's the case, by embarrassing, right? A person goes out and embarrasses someone, he has to go ahead and pay for uh, damages for embarrassing, right? That was, we learned after the, 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 the case of the, the, you know, the, the woman who embarrassed the man to, you know, stop the fight, right? So, but we know by an animal, right? There is no boshes by an animal, okay? Right, so this is... Right, so now, but we'll, we'll assume there's a there's a, there's a the hammy there, there should be. I mean, there is, but in this case, right. So it says, "I'm going to buy El Miata." Gabi Bosch says, "Nami name Ahachi Anashiv Lo Sharon Adam La Anashiv." Now, by Boshes, why don't we say the same Drasha? Because it says it there by Boshes, we learn out Boshes. We learn out over there. It's talking about people, right? So learn the same Drasha, just like we want to use the Drasha of oh, if Pete. Two people are fighting and they cause you know damage to a fetus they have to pay. So it's people pay damage and not an ox. So too, people pay for boshes, but not an ox. And we'll say, man, just like people are muad, afshar muad, so too, shar muadim, but kavachayim are the And therefore, he's saying, certainly if, 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 if a muad is part of from boshes, certainly a tam is part of from boshes, it's part of so therefore, hadar kasar achmada, baal hashor and naki. Therefore, it comes to you know the owner of the animal is Naki. That means that the Tam is Pater, Muad Chayim, the Muad Shri Chayim, right? From Boshas. The Chi Temachi Nami, you say, yeah, that's going to be the Allah. In other words, by, by, by Boshas, maybe the owner of the Muad will, would be Chayim for paying for Boshas. The Hachi, Lisni Baal Shor Naki. If that's the case, the Bryce that we started off with today should have said, Baal Shor Naki, Rabbi Yosei Glida Emir, Pater Mid Vlados, Umi Boshas. It should be both. Right? Why do you say it's mm-hmm. It's the same drasha if you're darshaning uh, an ashim. So, Ella, Amar Abayi, Barava, Dami Tabayi, and I say, no, here's how you learn it. Anashim, when it comes to people who are fighting, if ain't asam isha, in other words, if two people are fighting, they're fighting with each other, and then the woman's trying to, who knows, they're trying to break it up, hit the woman, and the fetus dies. So, we say you pay the Dmei Vladas. Let's say they're fighting and the woman gets in the way and they hit the woman and the woman and the fetus dies. Then what? Then you're put from payment. Why? Because keep labor the rabbi mine, right? You get the bigger punishments. You yeah. just you just murdered somebody, right? Um, yeah. All right, so so we'll see by by Kavan. All right, well, hold that thought. Sorry, very good. Warning. All right, very, 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 very good. Well, we do know in cases that even if you would be high, that there was no pain. In other words, if there are there are certain cases where if since it was something that could have been if it was done bemazi, right? So but let's see. So it says anashim ain't asum isha if there is no asun uh tragedy, whatever the woman doesn't die, then ye anashu, then they are punished by paying. So yesha asum, but if she does have isha, then they don't pay. The low shor knows only by people. The low shor the afa got the isha son that over there by people, even though let's say there was a death, uh, yanshu right? They would have to go ahead and pay for the animals, right? Because the animal there's no uh, high, there's no kimli with ramine for right. You don't, the, the, you know, I mean, the animal is put to death, but it doesn't stop the payments, right? You still put the animals to death, and you would pay for the thing. So mm-hmm. there is no difference. So how the kasa? So therefore, the Torah writes balashar naki. It's going to teach balashar naki to putter. That you're put there from uh, in that case. So in other words, that's how you learn it. So you might have thought that you'd be chayiv because you're always chayiv for payments because there, you don't learn from also kamash v'lan that you're put there. Samaska ravada barav barava atu atzon talim Is that have to do with whether she dies or not? Right? Is Alan's point right? The kavana talim right? Whether we say kibli of the ramine really depends on their intention. The woman is trying to break up and says, "I'm going to punch the woman, knock her out, and then continue my fight." So he has kavod in that case, and therefore he would be chayv misa. But he's trying to swing at the other guy. The woman gets away, and he hits her. He would not be chayv misa, and there is no kibli of the ramine. So just like Alan was saying, you are saying it's not totally whether she dies or not. It's totally whether there was kavana when the, when the, she was killed. Salam Ravada Barava, no. Anashim, let's mm-hmm. let dash like this. Anashim, kinis kabnu When the people are fighting, they intend one another. Apa gavshesh also, and the Isha, even though the woman dies, ye Then, 
uh, they have to go ahead and pay for the Bevlados, right? Because they're not Chayiv Misa. But if they do go ahead and tend for the woman, uh, they do not pay, right? They're not monetarily punished. So for low short, it's only by people if it's by the, the kavana, then they're positive from payment. However, low short, the afilu is kavana, the isha, that's why the animal intended to go ahead and gore the woman, they should be penalized to go ahead and pay the money. So, kasa rachmana, bala shor naki, the patiri. There comes teacher that the the, the 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 owner of the shore is not any raised potter. Okay, kiyasa rav chage midromia asa vaisi masnisa biyade kavasi the ravada barava. So too, when the rav chage uh, from I guess midromia, right? I think it's from the south, right? He came and he he brought his price in his hand, uh, identical to that which ravada barava says. In other words, to potter a case of demei vlados. Two lines from the bottom. Tani idach. Now we have another price. So once again, we're going to actually darshan the, the, the same words that we had earlier, but we're going to darshan a different way. What does it mean the owner is clean, right? So Now, interesting to point out, which we'll say later on, we had Rabbi, um, Rabbi Kiva, mm-hmm. actually, we even pointed out really from yesterday, right? So Rabbi Yaisi was the one who made it. Actually, this, I think I can go back for a second. Second, mm-hmm. so uh, look at yesterday's that real quick. I'm Mem Aleph on the base. All right, so it says over there we had the bright. It's like almost a little, a little below fifty uh, percent down. So it's two dots. It's ten on Right, so it said Balashor Nucky. So on Mem Aleph on the base, and Rabbi Eliezer says, "What does it mean? He's Nucky. It means the owner of a tom. If his animal kills somebody." He's naki michatzi kofer. He does not pay half kofer. In other words, if your animal is a muad and kills someone, right. you pay kofer, right? Mm-hmm. If it was a first time offense, so many times there's chatzi nezek, mm-hmm. but there is no chatzi kofer in this case. And on that, so that was Rabbi Eliezer. And on that, Omer lo Rabbi Kiva, Balu Atzmo, Imishtali El Megufo. Rabbi Akiva asks on him, What are you talking about, right? If you kill the animal, right? Normally, chatzi nezek is paid from the right. animal that gores. Over here, as we, we learned this yesterday, the, the animal that gores, we can't sell it and give the proceeds to pay for half the damage because the animal is going to die. There's no selling it, right? That's That was Rabbi Kiva's objection to yesterday's Havamina. How could you have thought that a Tom uh, payment, there is a payment from Tom if it's uh, it's, it's Katsinezik Migufo, right? So it doesn't make sense. That was that was what happened yesterday. Now, let's see today's that. So Tani Yidach, two lines at the bottom. So Balashar Naki... Mm-hmm. So the owner of the shore is Naki. Rabbi Kiva Oimer, Naki mi Dimei Eved means that what? That the owner, if it goes to have the animal by a case of a tom, and the animal kills a an Eved, right? An Eved Kanani, right? Then he pays 30 shalom. If it's a, if, if uh, excuse me, if I said it was a tom, I, I meant Muad. Right? If it was a Muad, right? Then you pay 30. The question is now, Tom, it was a first time offense and it killed an Evid Kanani. Do you pay 30 not? So says Rabbi Kiva, I'm here. Not give me the way Evid. Means your partner of the time would not go ahead and pay for the Yishkal. So I, top of the page, it says, the name of Rabbi Kiva, the Nafshe, right? Valo, Atzmo, Emishali, El Migufo. Rabbi Kiva, you just asked us in Dafyomi yesterday, and Rabbi Yezer, the Kasha of, how could you have a half a means to go ahead and pay chati nezek in any case? Somebody animal goring or someone dies. If you kill the animal, right? There is, you can't go ahead and pay me gufo. So where's this 30 shkalim coming from? Me gufo, right? You don't pay me gufo because the animal is being put to death. So what are you talking about? So mm-hmm. Rabbi Kiva had that question yesterday and now he makes something. So the Gemara is saying, why don't you ask the same question you asked in Rabbi Yezer yesterday? Ask that yourself. Right? This is your question, Rabbi Kiva. I have name Rabbi Kiva Say to yourself. Follow us, my Michelle and Magufo. Say, if you have a base in the Shalom Lecha, what are you going to say? You're going to bring it to base in and say, okay, here, go ahead and store my animal, but first pay me for it. It doesn't make any sense. Some Rav Shmuel Bar Rav Yitzchak, Big Shakadam Bala Veshachtu. Right? What are we talking about? We're talking about a case over here, the animal killed and should be put to death. Before the basin goes in, his afternoon, put it there. The guy shechs it, says, Oh, good news. You guys don't have to waste your stones. I already killed it for you. I shechted it. And by the way, I got meat, uh, roast beef, uh, $9.99 a pound, right? So now he's selling it. So maybe in this case, 
where now there is money, because he sh- went ahead and shechted it, now maybe from there, you might think I should pay the 30 shkalim if it killed an Evan Kanani. Right? So maybe that's the case. Huh? Yeah. Kosher, so yeah, I guess they don't know beef. I don't know. I mean, is, that, is some beef come from there? I mean, I, is it? I don't know. But yeah. So Gemara says, "Now the Hamor just said this shall be nay." Maybe you've said, "Okay, let's go ahead and make the shkalim from the shak the meat that he wasn't really supposed to do, but he did it anyways." Okay, fine. Well, now we have meat. Come on, you don't. How will so, so the Gemara says? Since the animal was supposed to be put to death, who Afa got the shechte, lo the shalamina. Since nevertheless it was supposed to be put to death, now you go ahead and shechte it. We're not going to allow you to go ahead and sell it for nine ninety nine a pound. Rather, the animal is useless and worthless to you, the owner. So the Gemara says, "Ihachi." If that's the case, the Rebbe Yezer Nami, why didn't to, so you ask this question, Rabbi Kiva? You you ask the question says, "Hey, how could you go ahead and pay for it? the answer to be stoned?" And then you answer, "No, we're talking about a case where the guy took it and shechted it, and maybe for that case, I had to have me to pay for it." So why didn't you say that yesterday? Well, you know, give the same reason to Rebbe Yezer when Rebbe Yezer said yesterday that oh maybe Chatsi Kofer we, we pay for there. Why didn't Rebbe Yezer just answer? We're talking about a case where the guy shechted it right before it was supposed to be stoned, and maybe we pay Chatsi Kofer from there. The other Rebbe Yezer Namik Shekadam Shachdu. So Achinami, you're right. Uh, so that maybe yes, that's why Rabbi Yezer held, and that's why Rabbi Yezer had the smart. So Gemara says Adilma Isle Tamachrina. So he says maybe really Rabbi Yezer, you know, thought that, but maybe uh, Rabbi Kiva was hoping that Rabbi Yezer would have another good reason. So therefore, he has the caution, even though he knew this was a defense that could have been used. He wanted to see if perhaps Rabbi Yezer would say something different. So the Adiv me Adiv Mehai, that would be better than this. I the name of Lei Rabbi Yezer Nami. All right, so the Gemara says, okay, Rabbi Yezer Nami Lishni Leik Shekadam Shachdu. Let it, let him also say this case, right? So now, okay, so Rabbi Kiva thought of this question, but didn't answer, didn't ask it because he maybe want to hear from Rabbi Yezer. So why didn't Rabbi Yezer himself just say this terence yesterday? Right, the name of Rabbi Yezer Nami Lishni Leik Shekadam Shachdu. Some of the Chassam who then is carving the Haragas of Hema, the Haragas Adam. Over there, now remember, over there we're talking about Kofar, right? So over there. It was talking about it was it was miscaving to go ahead and kill an animal and it killed a person. The shore la bar katalahu klau. Because over there, if that happens in that case, right, that an animal tends to gore an animal, that person pushes the animal out of the way and he gets gored. So the animal is not killed because it never tends to kill a human. The good Isaac, I mean uh, the chai, you might think be chai the uh, therefore you be chai for the chasi kofer, because we don't kill the animal there, right? So it's uh, uh, we can use a positive to exclude. In other words, over there, there is a scenario where the animal is not killed, but maybe you might think since it killed a human, maybe you should go ahead and pay Chatsi Kofer. However, Abal Hachad over here, Demi Kara Bark Talahu, that over here in this case of where we're talking about, we're intended to go ahead and kill this Evid, where he was, had intentions of Al-Hachad, Demi Kara Bark Talahu, but you can call the Shachte. Over here, you know, the apostle, you know, Shachte, it was, it was supposed to die. So therefore, it's a completely different situation. I, Rabbi Kiva, Nami, Vaday Hachius. Okay, Rabbi Kiva, also say this. We'll say that since this animal is supposed to die, so therefore, since it's intended to kill this Evan, right? So uh, either way, you know, what, what was your Havim? You, know, you should go ahead. Why was there even a Havim? You should go ahead and pay, the, 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 uh, and pay from it, right? Begufo. So Ravasi, Hai Milsa, Mipi, Gava, Rabbi Shmili. Actually, I heard this from a great man, Umanu. And who is this? This is Rabbi Yesi, Rabbi Chenina. So what do you say? So he says, you might think, um, um, so it says, even in the case of a tam, right? He injures a person, first time offense. So you go ahead and you pay out of pocket. So maybe over here, that in this case, he would maybe have to go ahead and pay the 30 shkalim out of pocket. Maybe that would be the scenario, just like over there, down to the chavah b'chaveros. So to over here, right? You don't have to pay out of your pocket. So kaser achmana balashonaki. Therefore, comes nicha balashonaki that even you don't have to come out of your pocket for the demei evet. So I'm really Rabbi Zayir the Rabasi. I bought Tavri Rabbi Kiva the the Gazize, right? So Rabbi uh, um, Rabbi Kiva had the svara, and he actually threw away the svara. He didn't like the svara to say that there was a half a minute to go ahead and pay thirty shkaf out of pocket in a case of tam. Where do we see that? The time when Rabbi Sir Rakiva Aimer Yachal Yishalim in Aliyah. Maybe you have to go ahead and even pay for a time out of pocket. Kamalaymar. Therefore, it says Kamishbat Hazel Yaselo 
Migufo uh, Mishalim, mm-hmm. right? So it says, Vayinam Mishalim in Aliyah. So it says, Kamishvat Hazeh, right? You do like this. In the case of Tom, mm-hmm. it's always Migufo. And you never uh, mm-hmm. pay me in Aliyah. So therefore, it's always Migufo. Even in the case in the case of damage, mm-hmm. if it damages another animal, or if it damages right, a, a, a person, he says, no, even in that case, you only pay Migufo. Mishalim in Mishalim in Aliyah. You don't pay out of pocket. So we still need a saga that has a mean hoyo umikab rene the avad yes in Ben Khir. Maybe since the killing of an, an Evid is actually more severe than if he kills a regular Ben Khar, a regular Jew. And maybe killing an Evan Kanadi was more severe. And therefore, if it's more severe, there's a reason to say that even if it was a Tom, you would go ahead and pay the 30 shalom, right? What Out of pocket. What, can, what is 30 shalom? The whole thing? The, the, so the, just the, the, part. the Torah gives a price. If you yes. kill your Evan, oh, that's a set price. You, you, you set price. Oh. Whether he's worth a dollar or whether he's worth a million dollars, it's always 30 shkalim. So it's, where do we see? Shechein, uh, so Shechein, so in by case of a regular person, if he goes ahead and he, he kills, so you have to sell a nice in sella, right? If he caught, if there's a sella, then he gives a sella. Shlashim, mm-hmm. if he's worth 30 nice in shlashim. The Evan, uh, Yafa Sela, you know, an Evan who's Yafa Sela, nice in Shlashim, right? You always pay 30, even if he's worth less, you always pay 30, you can pay more. So we see an Evan, your own Macher. So, Mishali Nami to make Evan mean Elias. So, therefore, maybe I would think that you should go ahead and pay to make Evan mean Elias. Therefore, it says Balashar Naki. Therefore, it says Balashar Naki that you're clean from, from that parent. And Tanya Kabasi, the Rabbi, we have a, a Bryce in support of what Rabbi just said. It says Balashar Naki. It says Balashar Naki. What does that mean? Rabbi Kibai, Mir Naki to make Evan. They come that uh, you're clean from your you, putter from paying the 30 shkalim for an Evan if your animal kills it as a top. So the says, and you can actually learn as an argument, right? Since you're an Evan, that which you're chayiv by Ben Kharin, right? There's a difference with a Tom or a Muad. So Aksha Chayiv Evan, so to the Gores in Evan, maybe Nachal Bob ain't Tom or Muad, maybe there's a difference, Tom or Muad. So, right, and so now there's a reason to say that, oh, maybe that, uh, you know, by time you're also potter, right? Yeah, but as opposed to a muat. But furthermore, Kabbal Chayim, Ma Ben Chayim, Shinoi saying, Kol Shavel Chalak by Ben Chayim, right? When that you give the full amount, Chalak to be Tam Lemuad, nevertheless, you're, there's there's uh, differences whether it was a Tam or a Muad. So, Avet Shain, a nice and Elish Lashim, but an Avet that you always give 30, ain't a din, Shinach Lagba, Ben Tam Lemuad. Is an obvious, we should go ahead. And the friendship between the Alamuad. And the girl says, Lo, uh, so we can't say that. Why? Because Ben No, because you can't say we learn Avid from Ben Kharin. Uh Ben Kharin, Yafa Sela, nice in Sela. Shlashim nice in Shloshim. Because the Ben Kharin, if he's worth a dollar, you give a dollar. If he's worth 30, you give 30. However, Avid, right? Uh Yafa Sel, but if an Evid is only worth a dollar, nevertheless, nice in Shloshim. Then you have to go ahead and give 30, you give more. So, Yachal Ye Chayiv, and therefore maybe you should be Chayiv in this case when it comes to Evid. So, therefore, as far as Tom Loimar, therefore it says, Baal Ashur Naki, Naki Midme Evid. Therefore, it comes to teach you that you might have thought that maybe even in this case that we were more Machmer and Evid and then require the uh, the owner to go ahead and pay for the uh, Shkalim in the case of a Tom. So, Kamas Balon, the Pasuk of Baal Ashur Naki, that he does not pay. All right. Um, so I think he pays. Um, so if, if, if you know, as if it was his own, right? It's his evidence. I was like, his evidence saying his own evidence, right? So I think he gives it to, um, I'm trying to think he has Yershim. I guess his kids, if he has kids from before, right? Yeah. Uh, I think by uh, um, no, uh, no, it was by God. There is, there is Yerusha by God. Yeah. Not by Evan. Yeah. He says Yerusha by Yerusha. Right. right. He goes free. Right. If he kills, him, he pays him thirty. Yeah, uh, he's free. He, 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 he no longer has every, yeah. Two to thirty songs. Right. So let's see. Tanar Abanim will go a little further. I think we're going to get to the, the couple lines from the bottom. Starts to sugi. So Tanar Abanim says, "Vehemish, vehemis isho isha." Right. The pasuk says, "If it kills, right, a man or a woman, 
So I'm going to have a key of I understand. What, what is your point here? I'm just going to have a key of the Do I got to say man or woman? Right? Like, what, what's going on? Just say, kill somebody, right? I'm going to have a in the chayv al isha kish, what are you trying to teach me that oh that you, you're chayv for killing a woman, just like you're chayv for killing a man? So I already for never right? it says ki gach shor es uh, es ish or es a isha. We already know that. So elu la hakish isha lish rather to compare a woman to a man ma ish niskav liyorshav just like by man if he is killed where do we, where does the payment go? So it goes to his children, his yorshim, right? His his children inherit him. His wife does not. His children inherit him. So to a woman, so to a woman, right, if she is damaged, it goes to her Yershim. It does not go to her husband. So where says, I have a separate Rekiva, Yaris, La Labal. I understand. Rekiva holds that a woman does not go ahead and inherit her husband. But Tanya, the Nebraisa, it says, Yarish, I saw. It says a man he he inherits his wife. So Mikan Shabal Yarish is Isha, the Rekiva. So here we see that a husband does go ahead and indeed inherits his wife. So my Shalgash, Lo. Amar Ella Bekaifer. We're only talking about the Kofer payment, right? Now, if the person is killed by a goring animal, let's say by a muad, so you pay a Kofer payment to the deceased. Now, who do you pay it to? So you pay it to the family of the deceased. So we're saying over here that in the case of a man's wife was gored and killed, so the Kofer payment does not go to her husband, even though he just, normally he inherits her. Rather, it goes to her children, right? It goes to her children. They inherit her, not the husband. Why? Because uh, since by definition, the Kofer payment is really after she dies. It's not something that's during her lifetime. So therefore, he's not married to her after life. So therefore, it goes to her Yarshim, goes to her, her, her children. And it's only something which is right. And therefore, the husband does not go ahead and, uh, uh, and, and, and does not go ahead and uh, uh, inherit something that she has not inherited yet. So my time, I'm a crowd. The puzzle says, isho isha, ashar yisaka, v'gam ba'alav, you must. And cover yisha salaf. So it says over there, that since over there, it says only after she dies, that's what's done. So therefore we see clearly that it's only the achramisa, and therefore the achramisa, then it goes to the yarshim, not to the husband. So now it starts the, the new topic. So we'll, we'll stop here, even though it looks like a little bit long tomorrow, and it's Hanukkah, but uh, we'll, we'll stop here. What if, the wife, what if the wife wants to leave it to the house?